CC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet, and today we're going to learn how to do this really cool bow pattern, okay? So you can make a baby blanket, you can make a big blanket, you can make anything you want out of this stitch. It's absolutely gorgeous, pretty easy to do, and as you can see, you've just got these beautiful little bows everywhere, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do this, um, and it's just a uh, pretty much a repeat pattern after you get going. Um, but I'm going to take some time and really show you how to do it, not leave you hanging. Um, but as you can see, we'll have ends to work in because you have to go to the other side and start over again because you can't go to the back. But it's still just to me, it's worth it. You can work them in as you go. Okay, so let's get in. So for today, we're going to be using a 4.5 millimeter hook. You're going to need a pair of scissors. And you're going to need a darning needle or a crochet needle when you get close to the end of your project or if you're gonna be working in your ends as you go along. Now for this project, and you will see this, obviously all the materials in the description box below, um, as in all my videos, but I did wanna show you, I'm using this Kaboo yarn. I may be pronouncing that wrong. If I am, let me know in the comments, you always do. Um, but I've, it's very satiny, it's, it's really soft, it's luxurious. It's a tiny bit expensive, but I just think it looks so beautiful because it looks satiny and you're making bows with it. So I'm using this light pink and this mauve color today for this. And you've probably, if you've watched a lot of my videos, you've seen me use this yarn before. Okay. And I get it at Walmart. And um, so yeah, you can find it there. Um, I did want to also say, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, hit that notify me bell below so that you can get notified for all my videos. And also, please, if you like my videos, please share them. You can share them on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, if you've got friends that like to crochet or crochet groups, it really helps a whole bunch. So let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to start with my light yarn here. It's light pink. And this has worked in... Um, a multiples of 29 plus two, okay? So basically you're gonna need 29 stitches going this way. So what we're gonna do is, is we're going to chain 29. So one, two, three, four, five, 28 and 29. Then you're going to do two extra and then you're going to go into the third chain from the hook and you're going to put a double crochet. And then you're gonna double crochet all the way down. Just like this. And you should have 29 when you get to the end here. Okay, so we're on our last double crochet. So we're gonna work this last double crochet, tighten that up, then we're going to chain three, and then you're going to turn your work, okay? And now what you're going to do is you're going to do four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. So technically you have five with this first chain of three. Then you're going to chain one and you're gonna to skip to your third stitch, one, two, three, and the third stitch, you're going to put a double crochet. Then you're going to chain three, skip one stitch, go into the second, and put a double crochet. Then you're going to chain one, go into your third stitch, and put a double crochet. Okay? Then, right after this double crochet, you're going to put four more double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And that's what it looks like. 
then you're going to repeat again. Chain one, go to the third stitch, put a double crochet. Chain three, go to your second stitch, work a double crochet. Chain one, go to your third stitch, work a double crochet. And then after that, you're going to work four more double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Okay? So that's what it looks like right there. Now you're going to chain three and turn your work. And now we're going to do four more double crochets. This chain of three counts as your first double crochet over this one. So let's do four more. One, two, three, and four. After you do that fourth double crochet, you're going to chain one, and then we're going to be working around this first post here, right here, to make a part of our bow. So turn your work on its side so it'll be easier, and we're gonna be working around this post right here. So you're going to yarn over, go around this post, pull up one, yarn over, pull up two, yarn over, pull up three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then you're going to be working in twos going down. So yarn over, go through your first two, yarn over, go through your next two, yarn over, go through your next two, yarn over, go through your next two, and just keep doing that all the way down. And you should do that eight times. By the time you finish that last one, you're gonna have two loops on your hook. Go through both of those loops. And now you've got one side of your bow finished. Now you're going to chain one again. And into the middle of this chain three space right here, you're going to put a single crochet. Then you're going to be working through the bottom here. So right below this, and sometimes this will cover it a little bit, but right here in the middle is the top of this double crochet right here. You're going to be working loops into there. So yarn over, go into that spot, bring up a loop once, twice, three times, and then four. Then you're gonna go through all your loops, but the last one leaves two loops on your hook you're gonna go through those two, then you're gonna chain one, and then right beside this and your next uh, double crochet here, you're going to put a single crochet to hold that into place. Then you're going to be working the other side of your bow around this post right here. So now you're going to yarn over and go around that post eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then you're gonna go through twos going down. There's one, you're gonna do it eight times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That leaves two loops on your hook. Go through both loops. Now you have completed your first bow. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so to continue, you're going to chain one, and you're going to work in the top of these double crochets here. So you're gonna do five. Go into the first, one double crochet, and again, two, 
three, four, and five. Then you're going to chain one and you're gonna start working a bow again. So let's do this again. So we're gonna go around this first post here eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then you're gonna go through two all the way down eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you have two loops on your hook, go through those two. Chain one. You're gonna go into the middle of this chain three space, put a single crochet. Then working below into the middle of the top of this double crochet right here, you're gonna yarn over and work through four times. One, two, three, and four. Go through all loops except for the last two there. Go through those two, chain one, and then right beside this puff and this space, you're going to put a single crochet. And now we've got this other post right here, and that's where we're gonna work, again, the second part of our bow. So again, we're gonna yarn over and go through there eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And again, go through two eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you have two loops, go through those two loops, and chain one. And so now you have two bows here. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're gonna work into the top of these five double crochets, putting one double crochet in each spot. So yarn over, go into this spot, one, two, three, four, and five. Don't forget to work into the top of this one at the very end. It can be kind of hard to get into. Okay, and now we're gonna cut off and we're gonna change colors and I wanna show you how to do that. But basically now everything is a repeat. You're gonna do it exactly the way that you did from here to up here, just how we just did it, okay? The only difference is, is now you've got to find those 29 stitches, okay? I'm gonna bring in my darker pink here and I'm gonna start right here on the top of this stitch right here and I'm going to bring this color in, and then I'm going to chain three. And what I need to do is double crochet 29 across. Doesn't matter how you get it, just 29 double crochets across, okay? So there's one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm gonna go right in over here, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. So that can be a little difficult trying to get that right. The more you do it, the more you'll be able to see exactly where you need to put a stitch. Um, I've tried it all kinds of different ways. It's just important that you get the 29, okay? So you might have to add a stitch here. You might have to go back, add some more stitches, take some away. Whatever you have to do, just get the 29, okay? And so then you would chain three, one, two, and three. And then just like we did before, you're going to do that pattern that we did. So right here is our first double crochet. So then we're going to do four more. One, two, three, and four. Then you're going to chain one, skip to the third stitch, put a double crochet, chain three, Go to your second stitch, work a double crochet, chain one, go to your third stitch, work a double crochet. Then after that double crochet, work four more. One, two, three, and four. Then you're going to chain one again, go into the third stitch, work a double crochet, chain three, go into your second stitch, work a double crochet, chain one, go into the third stitch, work a double crochet, and then do four more double crochets. One, two, three, and then four. So right on the top of here, don't forget to put a double crochet. Then you would chain three, turn your work, and then you would start doing the bow pattern again. So I'm gonna do it just one more time for you so you'll know how to do it. So again, we're going to get our four more double crochets here, because that chain of three counted as one as well. One two, three, and four. Then turn your work on its side, make sure you chain one. Working around this post right here, we're gonna do eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and go through two eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then go through those last two. Then you're going to chain one, put a single crochet in your chain three space. Working in this top of this double crochet right here in the middle, you're gonna yarn over and go through four times. One, two, three, and four. Go through all loops, but that last one that leaves two loops on your hook, go through both of those. Chain one, put a single crochet between your puff and the next post, and then work another stitch, just like you did over here on the other side. 
yarn over and go through eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then go through two eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got two loops left, go through those two, and now you've created your bow. And then you would just continue on just like we did for the other row. So if you need to rewind, you can, but basically you would just keep going down and then you would switch colors again. You can use any colors you want, make it as bright as you want. You could do a rainbow, you could do all one color, okay? But you would still need to cut off even if you used one color and start over here because of the way the pattern works. But I hope you found this really um, beautiful, pretty easy to make. If you have any, um, comments or you need any help or anything, you can find me in the description box below. You can find me on uh, TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook. Obviously, you can comment below on the YouTube section and I have a Gmail. So I would love to hear from you guys and I would love to see your uh, finished projects. So please shoot me a picture if you feel like it. I would love to see it. So I'll see you again soon, guys. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.